Scott, thanks so much for hopping on to uh, do our book giveaway, and thanks for doing it with uh, Ultra Learning. That's very, very exciting. Oh, yeah. It's so exciting to share this book with you and, and your audience. Before we announce our winners, has there, any, has, been, has there been any one or two things that you have learned since its publication, either about you know, the topic that you initiated with Ultra Learning or just about learners themselves? Well, you know, it's funny because uh, when I was thinking about writing this idea for a book, you know, I'm going to write this book about learning. And I know obviously our audiences were, you know, people who like learning and people who like things involving the mind. But uh, when I talked about it with some people, some people were a little bit skeptical. They were like, well, you know, people don't really like learning as a topic that much. And so what's been really exciting has been talking to people and finding that a lot of people do really have these things that they want to learn. They have these things that they'd like to get good at either in their professional life or, you know, maybe it's a language, maybe it's painting, maybe it's, you know, some skill that they've always wanted to work on. And so what's been really exciting for me is to kind of hear those stories. And really, I wrote this book because people who had taken on these big ambitious learning projects really inspired me and it made a big difference in my life. So I'm just happy that this book has done a, a small part in kind of paying that forward and giving other people exposure to the idea that you, know, you can go out there, learn hard things, get good at things, and it can be this really rewarding experience in life. Yeah, absolutely. And I was amazed too the wide variety of different things that people want to learn and what it really would mean to their future. So we've got uh, two winners for ultra learning and mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to throw in a copy of one of my books. So maybe we can show everybody the sure. Yeah. So this is, this is the book. Uh, this is the UK edition. So if you're wondering why it's yellow and not green as sometimes it is in the American version, same content in the book, but uh, we've got two of these copies to, to give away. Excellent, excellent. And yeah, thank you again. So we got uh, Brittany and Christopher that those will be going out to. Were there any particular things that come to mind that that you noticed in these entries? I, I, I myself think that they're just very... Yeah, well, you sent me some of the ones to read over earlier and, and I was reading the, the, you know, really wonderful responses of people talking about why they're interested in learning and why they're interested in, in this topic. And um, I know Brittany's really stuck out to me because she was talking about uh, learning Spanish with her son and, and kind of doing this. And it really reminded me of my own experience learning Spanish. And I know that language learning can be something that is at the same time can be incredibly frustrating <laughs> for a lot of people. It can feel like you're putting in a lot of effort, not going somewhere. But I also know how rewarding it is when you can figure out how to do it and you're actually, wow, I'm speaking this with someone and I'm actually getting that feedback. And so I, I really hope that Brittany can get some ideas from the book and, and maybe share in that amazing experience, not only herself, but also with her, her son and her family. And uh, I believe Christopher's example, he was talking about uh, learning civil engineering. And I know as well, you know, learning math and sciences is also something that feels very difficult. I know a lot of people who are studying in these kind of STEM faculties, it can be very, you know, you can feel inadequate at times. You can feel like you maybe you're not smart enough to do it. But I also know, again, that once you're able to overcome that and really learn that deeply, you can uh, have this real sense of accomplishment because there's something about the world that you now understand that maybe you didn't before. So they were really, it was really hard to pick because there's so many really good people. And, and I hope that, uh, you know, getting the book on Kindle or finding it at your local library won't be too much of a barrier for someone who wants to read these ideas. But uh, I really want to thank both of them for, for writing those essays and, and I hope they enjoy the book. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm glad you mentioned libraries because that's where my mind was going as well. I used to mm -hmm. work in libraries. I worked in three libraries in my life. And one of the little hacks that I had as a student when I wasn't able to get all the books that I wanted is even though I worked there as a citizen, I knew where the slips were to make requests. And, mm -hmm. you know, I didn't get everything, but you you certainly, you know, we as Canadians know the Gretzky thing, you know, it's a, oh, yeah, you, know, you got to make the make the shots. <laughs> <laughs> you never, you never get a goal if you don't make the shot. You know? Well, and, and that's the other thing, too. A lot of people, oh, they don't have this book in my library. A lot of libraries will do interlibrary loans. So if you tell right. them that you want a book. They can get it in for you. Now, you usually have to wait a little bit. So if you're if you're impatient, you want to read it immediately. I mean, Kindle editions are usually also pretty inexpensive, but I, I'd never let cost be a, a barrier to learning. And, and really, that's one of the messages of the book is that if you're serious about learning something well, um, money is is usually a, a pretty trivial obstacle to overcome because there's so many resources now available for learning. And and hopefully this uh, this book will give uh, some suggestions in that path. 
Yeah, absolutely. And I know from reading it that it does. And uh, Thank of you. course, there's, there's always options for getting what we need. But just as a sort of closing thought, because hmm. when people will go and they will go and look at their library, there's, there's often this feeling that more and more information is available and mm -hmm. that it's getting more and more overwhelming. And I've often thought about that. Is it really true? I mean, there's, there, there seems to be that opportunity cost was always there. And yeah. proportionately, I'm not sure that opportunity cost really changes given that we all sort of have the same 24 hours in the day. Do, yeah, you, yeah. do you have decision metrics yourself? I see you got like loads of books behind you. Uh, I often think of just 80-20 rule and, and sort of mm -hmm. a redundancy of information rule that you, know, you, can, you can really get out of even your own bookshelf most of your bookshelf if you would just read 20% of it. Do you, do you have similar yeah. ideas like that in how you approach all that? Well, for me, my, my philosophy toward books is uh, make it as easy as possible to read a lot of books. Um, now, I talk about in ultra learning, I talk about what I would say is kind of the step beyond just reading books. And I think this is also very important because for a lot of us, we treat learning kind of the same way we would treat any kind of entertainment like Netflix or right. social media or or this kind of thing where it's a passive consumption and that can often result in not really actively building a lot of skills. So I talk a lot about this. If, if you want to become really good at programming or you want to really master something, what would be involved in doing that? And it does often involve going beyond just simply reading a lot. But at the same time, I think for most of us, the trade-off is not, well, I'm doing a lot of reading instead of doing some deep all intensive mastery projects. It's like, no, you're doing reading instead of what Facebook or you're doing reading instead of doing something that's, you know, entertaining, but not maybe that educational or enlightening. So for me, my whole goal with my library, um, and I, I have books here, but I also have a Kindle and I also listen to books on audible. I do all three. And so my whole goal is how can I make it so that it's as easy and fun as possible to, uh, consume books. And so one of those things is I just have a rule that I don't ever regret purchasing books. <laughs> and I mean, I mean, there's a little bit of bias there as an author to say that as, as encouraging people to buy more books. But I mean, you can do the same thing and just regularly go to your library and take out like 10 books. And I think there's sometimes a pressure that people have that they have to finish everything that they start reading. And I do think that if you find a book and you think, wow, this is a hard book, but it's super important, I'm going to really put in the effort to do it. That's that's really great. But I think at the same time, a lot of us get hung up on you, you get a book because someone recommended it. You read the first chapter and either you know, it's not connecting with you or you don't find it that interesting or not that exciting or, or, or that, you know, educational even. Sometimes a lot of books you're like, ah, I don't really see what the point is of this book. Yeah. that it's okay to just read the first chapter and then read another book. And so for me, I have, um, you know, I've read a lot of these books here, quite a few of them I've read cover to cover. Um, but I've also bought books that, you know, maybe I've read about 40% of it uh, and, and I never have any problem putting it down. And, and indeed sometimes I'll put it down and then I'll pick it up a couple years later when it's a little bit more relevant to me. And so for me, my goal in life is just to increase the amount that I spend reading and the amount of ideas I consume. And I think, you know, it's, it's, sort of funny to say this, obviously we both agree and we kind of view this in, in the, the realm of thinking about life, but I think that learning is one of the most meaningful and rewarding activities you can engage in. And I think that this is something that if you do regularly and you invest in, you'll very rarely regret it. So I really hope that people who are considering, you know, reading not only maybe my book or your book, but also other books, uh, just really just look at, you know, how can I introduce more reading and make it so that it's easier and more accessible for me. Yeah, absolutely. Great advice on that. And so in, in wrapping up, if people just happen to have stumbled on this and, and don't sure, know sure. who you are, and what, what this is all about, <laughs> yeah, yeah. where can people find out more? I'll yeah. have links in the, in the video description, of course, Perfect. but, you know, just uh, let people know about your site and how to find you and what's going yeah. on next. Well, so you can check out my website. It's uh, scotthyoung.com. That's S-C-O-T-T-H-Y-O-U-N-G.com. And I have, uh, speaking of lots of things to read, I have actually over 1,300 articles on that website that I've written over the last uh, decade or so. And they're on topics about learning and personal development and growth and life philosophy and, and all these sorts of topics. And so if you go to my website, you can not only find the latest articles, but I also have links to some of the, the best so you don't have to comb through a thousand plus articles to find them. And, right. um, and obviously the book Ultra Learning, this is my first uh, book with a traditional publisher. And uh, I think 
books are, you know, not, not speaking about my book specifically, but they're so great because you basically can find what a smart person was thinking about something nonstop for maybe three to five years. They right. condense that down and you can, you know, cover it in a, in a couple of weeks if, if you're really serious about it. And so I think there's a real leverage there for knowledge that, you know, someone who has spent a good chunk of their life thinking about it has condensed it into something you can consume in a short period of time. And so I think really uh, the more books you read, the, the better your life will be. Absolutely. Well, thank you again. And I look forward to hearing from more people who have interest in and have read Ultra Learning. Really appreciate it. Yes. Thank you so much for having me. This is Ultra Learning. And and thank you again to those who participated in the giveaway. Excellent.